Red Bull Racing Esports will start once again from pole position on their return to the championship. We're underway in the GT Pro Season 3, powered by Traction.gg, and we're already three wide on the start finish straight as Nuno Pinto is trying to slot his way between the two burst esports cars. We're riding on board with Kuba Brzezinski as they're diving their way down into Turn 1. It seems fairly clean as they run through. Dennis Jordan leads. Yerne Simicic and Michi Hoyer battling it out. Same with the two team BMW GB cars as well. But it isn't easy at all to find a way around the team. But we see Simicic already on the defensive line going down to Donald Porter for the very, very first time. Breaking on the curb. But well, there was absolutely no chance here to get a big Bentley on the inside. Whereas this is in the mid pack of the race. Jimmy Nasula, who were riding on board with you, got Casper Stoltz ahead. You've got Yuri Kastop in there as well. Pelesny, there is. Oh, that's where. Oh, that's what happened to Pelesny. Away he goes in that 650S. Yes. Kevin Rotting taking advantage of that whole scenario. And he uh, focused his attention on uh, BMW Sim uh, MTCS Racing Cup earlier today. That is an awful start. Set, start said that uh, Mitchie Hoyer's one last time out was, was pretty bad in the series. This is on board with Casper Tolster up towards Michael Schumacher S behind Lorenzo Arisi on replay. Let's see what happened to him. Uh, you've got Risto Kappa ahead. You've got Yuri Kastorp behind. Oh, he's just going to misjudge it on his brakes and away he goes and into the barrier. That is quite a hard hit. And he lost a wheel for good measure. Ed Alan Terzic in this important battle for 10th place. He's got to get by Luca D'Amelio. These two battled it out for a race victory in GT Challenge or two in the previous season. They're going to continue to battle it out. But yeah, Alan and uh, Luca D'Amelio here. That is a McLaren against the mighty BMW M6. He goes for the inside. There's a touch with the McLaren. We see that one is definitely hurt. The door is a bit. So what we get as another replay. That's gone from the Haida. And speaking of Shara and the BPM car right in front of him, Shara here missing the apex there and then running a bit over the gravel trap. But the battling behind, as you can see, that Nikodem Vishnevsky is trying to make a move on Nuno Pinto into the background, but no way through runs out and over the exit curve. Then on the inside of Arsene Yaka, Brzezinski will go around the outside of him and will grab the top five position. Vishnevsky dropping backwards. Alex Siebel will be all over the back of him. Even looked like Ananoski managed Ooh. to be on the inside and he did yes he's now side by side once again with Alex Siebel etc is Nitro Velox now he's on the inside might be a bit better into turn one but we also got a Stanley waiting right behind oh look at that there might be a gap opening very very soon if these Audis can't figure out how to go through that corner but they did that was a fight that was uh, that went on for what? Like three to four corners and it's still going on. And Anofsky being nearly spun around, luckily into the right direction right after. Siebel still in between him and Stanley. He definitely has a great race, perfect sprint race for him. Let's see how Ooh. we can do that from 10th. But Nuno Pinto now finally has to give up his position to Jakub Brzezinski. He might even lose another one to Wisniewski. Yep. Oh, he was too much on the curb. Couldn't really break proper into the corner that also opens the door for Andonovsky now who's going through on the inside and all of a sudden Nuno Pinto from fourth down to seventh in just two corners and he might even get more unlucky as Alex Siebel is locking onto him with the Audi on the inside up the inside better under braking going into turn one Andonovsky snacking another one Tim Andonovsky doing quite well. Ferris Stanley and Nuno Pintler battle it out very close. Oh, and there goes Andonovsky off the road by himself. He's going to drop back and right into the clutches of the pack. He makes contact with Luca D'Amelio on his rejoin. Alan Terzic as well is going to try and get through into Dunlop. And this could be massive because this is for 10th place. Alan Terzic, he was waiting for it to be delivered his way. There's contact as Andonovsky tries to come back. And look at that. Two time series runner up. Kevin Siggy looking to finish 11th place for the second consecutive sprint race gets that position done and off he goes lost a ton of positions there he's now down to 12 he was in fifth previously Ooh. he will be furious and that's Nuno Pinto jumping even further what is Ooh. that is there an issue with the car maybe or his or his equipment well, over the line, Dennis Jordan for his second race victory in GT Pro takes top honours here at the at the uh, Nürburgring where Red Bull Racing Esports had done it before. There is so much drama going on. Nuno Pinto with more bad luck. And do you know what that means? That means that Kevin Siggy grabs 10th place and with that will be on your reverse grid pole as we run down the hill towards Ford. Just gets a massive snap out of Alvaline and a costly, costly mistake that really didn't need to be made. Re joined the circuit. Alan Terzic came through as well. He's on full throttle, shifting up to fifth, and I reckon fuel. Oh, he must have run out of fuel. That's not a blown engine. 
is that? Did he try to make it uh, through? Oh, yeah, throttle, there's yeah, nothing. Yeah, definitely. So, oh, he didn't even make it across the line in the end. That's that tragic. Is, that, that costs a ton of points because of the, the participation points, and I think you need to finish. But at the front of the field, Dennis Jordan for Red Bull Racing Esports on his debut for the team takes top honours for the second time in the GT Pro Series, powered by Traction.gg. Michi Hoyer and Yone Simicic on the podium behind, and Jakub Brzezinski, Nikodem Pishnevsky switched over in the race. They grab fourth and fifth.